So here's the advanced battle wheel I've been working on for the Dune uh, tabletop game. Um, basically, the game comes with these basic battle wheels where you can dial in your force strength and slot in a leader. And that's great for the basic game, but in the advanced game, you also have to um, assign spice to your battles to make your forces count more or at full strength. And so having extra spice to sort of hold or commit to is kind of janky with those basic wheels. So what I did was I designed a wheel that lets you dial in both your forces and your spice value. The way this works is um, I have this 3D printed wheel and when it's closed, right, these are immovable. So there's no slippage on these dials. And if you look at it from the side, this opens up. Once you open up your battle wheel, now uh, you can lie it down if you want. You can dial in whichever uh, force you want. And let's say, let's dial in about six troop strength, right? And let's say I have five spies to spend. So I dial that in, I close those, and these will only lock if you've actually committed unambiguously to the exact force. If these are off, this will not lock. But now it's locked in and I forgot to put a leader in. Whoops. The way that works is um, you put your leader in there, close it, and now I take the rest of my battle plan, which is a worthless card and a shield, hold those, and then when it's time to reveal, there you go. Pretty simple stuff. Now, one other thing that this wheel lets you do is say you want to dial in a half force. Oh yeah, and these wheels, by the way, they come out if you want to. Um, so let's say I want to dial in a five and a half. There. I can dial that in very easily. And again, these lock in place because when the cover closes, these stops right here, they connect with those teeth and that makes it so there's no slippage. So no, like as you're turning the wheel, you're accidentally touch the dial and now you've dialed in a different force or a different whatever and it's like no that doesn't happen with this um, also um, the same tooth locking thing also prevents you from dialing in half spice values because that as far as I know is not a thing so this doesn't close as long as these are not dialed in correctly and you sort of have your indicator up here like this is where you're gonna dial in your stuff and there you go now one thing that I might do with these is paint one of these as the aggressor wheel and the other one as the defender wheel to give it a little bit of extra clarity. But for now, that's what these are.